Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get creative with Divi's six column row and viewport units. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're going to give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this get creative with Divi. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. Okay, so there's a few options here. We can either use this technique on an existing page or we can build one from scratch or we can even use from a pre-made layout. So I'm gonna click on build from scratch and then we're gonna go with six columns. So I'm gonna select my columns. So I'm just gonna close this for now because the next stage is to go into the row settings and make some adjustments. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon to access my row settings. And then I'm gonna come over here to design and we're going to make this a full width. So I'm going to click here on sizing, make this row full width. And then we're also going to come over here to use custom gutter width and set it to yes. And we're going to reduce our spacing to one. So when we reduce our gutter width here, it means that the space between these columns here will disappear. So right now we've set it to one. So there's no space between these columns. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing and we are going to add a left and right padding. So I'm going to click here on spacing. And then for our left and right padding, we're going to set it to 6.5 VW. So this is going to be applied the same to the right. So I'm going to click on this chain icon. So now my value has been applied both to the left and the right. So that's all we need to do for now. So let's go ahead and save. And then what we're going to do next is to come over here to column six and add a text module. So I'm going to search for it and then select it. So what we're going to add here is just text to say next level architecture. So what we need to do with this is to set it to heading two. So I'm going to highlight the text. And then over here, you can see by default, it's set to paragraph. So I need to click here on this drop down and set it to heading two. Now let's customize our heading text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, heading text, heading two. So we're gonna start off by giving this our font. So I'm gonna click here on this drop down, and my font is called Batam Bang. I'm gonna select it. Now over here on the font weight, we're gonna set this to bold. And then we need to set our sizes. So over here, it's set to 26 pixels by default. So we're gonna set this to 4.2 VW. And then I also need to set my sizes for my mobile devices. Next, I'm gonna add my size for my tablet. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon and I'm gonna click on the tablet and set this to 10 VW. And then I'm also gonna come over here to the phone and set the phone to 8 VW. Okay, so back over here to the desktop, let's continue. Next, I'm gonna add my letter spacing. So I'm gonna set this to minus one. Now it's time to adjust our margins. So I'm just gonna scroll down here to spacing and then for our custom margin top, we're gonna to set this to 10 VW. And then over here for the left margin, we're gonna set this to minus eight VW. And while we're here, we might as well go into our mobile settings. So I'm gonna click here on the tablet and on the tablet for our left padding, we're gonna set this to zero. Okay, so over here for the right margin, this is going to be for the tablet and the phone. And the value for the right margin is going to be minus 50 VW. And it's going to be the same for the phone as well. And then I'm just going to come back over here to my desktop tab. So what we're going to do next is to add some description text onto the sixth column. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So we're just going to use that text here as the description, but you can also use lorem text. So with that now, the next stage is to come over here to design spacing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a top margin of 2 VW. And then over here on the left margin, we're going to set this to minus 8 VW. And then for the tablet and phone, we are going to set this to 0 VW. It's very important to always go into these different uh, views and make sure that you optimize them for whatever device that, you're, uh, that your visitors will be viewing this on. Right, so we've just entered our left margin. So let's head over here to the right margin and also set our right margin. So I'm gonna start here with minus 50 VW. And then over here on the phone, we're gonna set this to minus three VW. Okay, so now notice that everything now 
fits correctly in the space. So back over here to the desktop. So we're going to save this for now. And then the next stage is to add a button to column six. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I'm going to search for, in fact, here's my button module. So I'm going to select it. So in order for us to uh, customize our button, we need to go into use custom styles. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to design, click on the button and then activate use custom styles for button. So with this activated now, we have full access to customize this button. So first of all, we're going to start with our button text color. We're going to set this to white. So it looks like everything has disappeared, but uh, we're going to fix this very soon. So next, we're going to add our border, border width and set it to one pixel. Come over here, set this to one. And then for the border color, we're going to set this to black. So now you can see we have a border color now on our button. So what we're going to do next is to add a button radius. So currently it's at three. We need this to be set to zero. Now for the button letter spacing, we're going to set this to minus two. And then over here, we're going to set our button text color to black. So on this button here, uh, right now, it's by default set to click here. But of course, you can always change it to whatever you want. So if I come back over here to text, I can always change this to maybe perhaps read more like that. So that's how quickly you can change this. And then over here, this is where you add your button link. So for now, I'm going to add a blank link. But in your case, you need to add a link which points you to a specific page. Great. So back over here on my design tab, click on the button. So what we're going to do next is to scroll down here to spacing. And on the spacing here, we need to add our value. So our top margin is going to be 2VW. And that value is for the desktop. So let's click on this little icon here and add our values for the tablet and the phone. So for the tablet, it's going to be 5VW. And then on the phone, it's going to be 10VW. Now over here to the left margin. So while we're on this uh, phone tab, we might as well add, uh, add, our, add our values. So we're going to start off with our left margin and this is going to be 0VW. And for the right, it's going to be minus 50. And then back over here to the desktop, I'm going to come over here and add my left and right padding. And this is going to be 30 pixels. Activate my chain because it's going to be the same value both sides. So all I have to do now is to drag this button into position. So I'm just going to go ahead now and save that. And then I'm just going to drag this below the text like that. Right. So what we need to do next is to add an image to column one. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, search for my image module. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to upload my image. For this example, the image that we need to add in here needs to have a height of 880 by 1320. And of course, it can be any image that you would like. But uh, for this example here, these are the dimensions that we are using. So I'm going to go ahead and select my image and I'm going to go with this one right here. Upload an image. Now let's go into design mode, spacing. So let's start with our top margin. Now this margin that we're going to add first is only for the tablet and the phone. So let's activate this little icon here. Click on the tablet and we are going to add a top margin of 0.5 VW. So I'm going to add that there. Go into the tablet, I'm into the phone. Do the same. So we're also going to come over here to the bottom margin as well and make sure that we have the same margins. Now let's head over back to the desktop tab. So what we need to do here is to add a left margin of minus 5 VW. And for the tablet and phone, we just need to come over here and add 0 0.5 VW. And let's do that the same for the phone. Great. So that's looking good. Now the next thing we need to do is to add the right margins. So I'm going to come back over here to the desktop. And for the right margin, this needs to be minus 2VW. So I'm going to enter it here. And then the margins for the tablet and the phone is going to be 0 0.5. So I'm just going to add it here and finally add it here as well. Okay, so with that set, I'm going to save this and then we're going to upload another image onto this column. So I'm going to click this plus button and search for my image module and select it. So I'm going to go with this image, upload an image. So we need to go through that whole process and set our spacing for our image. So I'm going to click here on design, spacing, and we are going to start with our top margin of 0.4 VW for the desktop. And then we might as well go in and set our sizes for the tablet and the phone. So for the tablet and the phone, this needs to be minus 0 0.5. I'm going to do the same for the phone. Okay, back over here to the desktop. Now we need to add a bottom margin of 0 0.5. So I'm going to add it right there. In fact, this needs to be 
for the tablet and the phone. So I'm going to add it here. Come over here to the phone. I'm going to edit that too. Now let's add our left margin. So I'm going to start off with my desktop with, with a value of minus 8.1. I'm going to come over here, add my minus 8.1. And then I'm going to go into my tablets. And for the tablets, this needs to be set to 0 0.5. And then for the phone, it also needs to be set to 0 0.5. Great. So the next stage now is to add our right margin. And uh, for the desktop, it's going to be 3.7 VW. So I'm going to enter it here. And then for the tablet and the phone, it's going to be the same value of 0 0.5. So I'm going to add it here, go to the phone, do the same thing, and then back over here to the desktop. Okay, so over here on the desktop, we are going to start off by adding our padding, but this is going to be the left and the right padding. So come over here, and it's going to be 3VW, and it's both left and right. And then we're going to come over here into the tablet, and this is going to be 0VW on both sides, and the same as the phone as well. Okay, so we're almost there. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save, and then on column two, we're going to add our third image. So I'm just going to search for my image module here, select it, and then I'm going to upload my image. So this time, I'm going to go with this one here, upload an image. So as before, we're just going to continue by using our custom margins and padding. So I'm going to start off with our top margin, but in order for us to access that, we need to come over here to design first and then click on spacing. So over here, we're going to start with our top margin. So this top margin here is only going to be for phones and tablets. So I'm going to click on this little icon and then I'm just going to click on the tablet tab, add my value here, 5VW, and then it's going to be the same with the phone as well. So this value is the same for the bottom as well. So I'm going to activate this chain so that both values are applied to the top and the bottom. Right, so next we need to add our left margins. So I'm going to come over here first on the desktop and add minus 5VW. And then we're going to go into the tablet and this needs to be minus 5 and the same as well for the phone. Now while we're here, this is going to be the same value for the right as well. So I'm just activating the chain. Now it's time to add our left padding. So I'm going to click here on the tablet, uh, on the uh, desktop tab. And then here it's going to be minus three, both for the left and the right. And now let's head over to the tablet and the phone. So in the tablet tab over here, this needs to be set to zero VW and the same value as well on the phone. Okay, great. So now that we've added all our padding and our left margins, the next stage now is to add the image, uh, the fourth image to column two. So I'm going to save this. So I'm going to click this plus button here, search for my image module, select it, and then I'm going to go with my image, upload an image. So as we did before, we're going to go into our margins. So I'm going to click here on design, spacing. So I'm going to start with the top margin, and I'm going to set this to 5VW, and then we're going to enter into our different views. So I'm going to click here on tablet, and for the tablet bottom here, this needs to be set to minus 0.5, the same for the tablet. And then back over here on the desktop, this needs to be set to minus 0 0.5. Now let's head over here to the padding. And then for our left and right, we're going to set this to minus 3, I mean to 3VW, like that. And then for the tablet and the phone, we're going to set this to 0VW. Okay, that looks great. Right, so for now, let's go ahead and save. And then what we're going to do now for column number 3, which is this one here, we are going to add the same image here in column 1. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here like that. So what I've done here is use a command uh, called Command C on the on the Mac and Command V to paste. But if you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Right. So now that we have this here, I'm going to click on the gear icon and let's let's head over here and make our customizations. So I've just clicked here on design. Let's go to spacing. So for our left margin, I'm going to set this to 0 0.5 for the tablet. So I just want to make sure that I have the right value here. Okay, so that's looking great. So what I need to do next is to head over here to the desktop. So I want to start with my left margin, and I'm going to set this to minus 2.5 VW. And then over here for the right margin, I'm going to set this to minus 17.5. And you can see here now it's nice and big. Now the next thing I want to do is to set our sizes for our tablet and phone. So I'm going to click here on tablet. And over here, it needs to be 0 0.5, which is great. And then over here, it's 0 0.5 as well. So I'm just going to enter it like that. And that's for the phone. 
Right, so with all that set, I'm gonna come back over here to my desktop. So all looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and save. So now we're going to add our final image to column three. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, search for my image module, select it. And then I'm gonna choose my image and the image I'm gonna go with is this one right here. Upload an image. And now let's head over to the design and let's start adding all our margins. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to spacing and we're going to start with our top margin. So our top margin here is going to be minus 26.7. So I'm gonna enter it here. My bottom here is going to be 0 0.5. And then I'm just gonna head over here to my tablet. So this is going to be 0 0.5, both to the top and the bottom. So as you can see, as I'm adding these values, this is rearranging and it's fitting in this view, which is great. Right, so now that with that set, I'm gonna go back over here to the desktop. In fact, I need to remove this on the desktop. Right, so the next stage is to head over here to our left margin. So our left margin is gonna be minus 20.5 VW. And this is for the desktop. So I'm gonna enter my value here. The right margin is gonna be 17.3. And over here on the tablet, we're gonna set this to 0 0.5. And that's gonna be the same with the phone as well. And then back over here to the desktop. So all is done here for now. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then what we're going to do is to come over here to the image on module one and activate Lightbox. So I'm going to come over here to the link, click on open in Lightbox. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Lightbox option here by right clicking, copy open in Lightbox. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to come over here and do multi-select and add that option to the rest of the images. and then I'm gonna paste it. So what you may also need to do is to just go back and make sure you check if your values are correct because sometimes if you make a mistake, because I know there's a lot of values that have been entering here. So if you make a mistake, you may find that your images might be overlapping. So you may need to just go back and just make sure that you've got the right values in place. So pretty much this is our final design. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and publish my page and then exit the visual builder. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on exit, and this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.